Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Game Dev Tycoon. So last time, we upgraded our building, and now we have this little apartment, I guess, or this little building that we do our operations in, and um, we have lots of money. We have $2.6 million, which is pretty good for on year five, I'd say. Um, so yeah, let's get started. We will start by... Maybe we should fill a position, I think. Okay, so you have to complete the staff management training. Oh, before I can hire someone. Okay, uh, so I think I'll do that. I'll train him for staff management. 25k. That'll be good. And then we can hire somebody. And then, like, when we make, uh, when we do contract work or when we make new video games, it'll take way, way shorter amount of time. It'll be, like, half the, or half the speed, I guess? Yeah, right? Anyway, and then you can train the other person to get them, like, have better stats and stuff. Alright, so now we can have the fill position. So, our budget, we have a pretty high budget. Like, I'd say a 100k budget. Um, and we want him to, I don't know, we don't really need any pre-filter things, I don't think. Okay, find staff. Okay, so it's to find staff. Oh, well, I would I would have made it higher, but I didn't know what it was for. Alright, so we got Jennifer. She has a really good technology, but not that good design, so that's- I kind of want one kind of in the middle, but she is level 2, and she's only 21k per month. Uh, okay, he's- Wyatt is pretty high on design and not very good on technology, but he is way lower pay. Uh, and Robin Thomas is, like, really bad at tech design, but- and really bad at technology, but he's 9k. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. I feel like I could, like, kind of get Wyatt, like, a bit- better like I could up his technology so then they're about equal and design as well hmm because like with Jen Jennifer this Jennifer person if I wanted to get the design that would have to work a really long time and I'm already he already has a little bit of technology so I think our I think I'll hire Wyatt all right we got oh yeah we also have new research medium games okay so I guess it's like a bit bigger of a game what's this little bar here I don't know what that bar is is that like tiredness or something? Okay, I don't know. Anyway, so we can like train him um, to be like better at stuff. So I guess we'll train him just because he's not really, I don't think he's ready to play, ready to make new games yet. Um, so we'll get him to, so if you want to up his technology, we should get him to do like some code, coding, I think. I think that would work good. Um, and then we'll start on our new game because we, don't really need him to do it yet because he's not really qualified yet. Um, so we will make a evolution um, evolution simulation or something. Yeah, simulation. That sounds good. We can see how good it is, and we'll do it on the PC or gameling. Hmm. Actually, let's make a game for the gameling. Let's um. What would be good for gameling? Like an alien. Uh, action would be good for game. Like, you could, like, shoot the aliens, it'd be like a side-scroller. Be like Mario, except, like, with aliens and stuff. That would be good. Um, so we'll call it Super Alien Bros. Or actually, no, it'll be this. There'll be, like, two aliens, and they'll be like, it'll be like Mario and Luigi, and, and like, they'll be trying to take over Earth. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. Alright, we'll do that. And it should be mature or for everyone. We'll do it for everyone. Just so it has a wider, wider demographic. All right, we can start this. I'm actually kind of excited about this. All right, so the story and quest can be kind of low because we don't really care about much story, I don't think. And I think those two little minus signs right there means it can be low. I'm pretty sure that what's that? What is? I can't talk. I'm pretty sure that's what it means. So we're gonna make it about there just to make sure, and then we'll put the engine pretty high because we want it to run good. Yeah. So this guy's getting good better technology and some better like design or what's he getting just technology i think anyway um so ai could be pretty high level design we want about equal as ai because um it's like a side scroller and uh dialogue can be pretty low because i don't think there'll be like any dialogue really all right <clears throat> there we go okay we've got lots of research we could research more stuff also this guy like once he's done um training we can get him to like research things while we'll, while while we're making games. Like we can just get him to do whatever we want, basically. Um, so we'll have the sound kind of high because we want kind of good music and level design really good. 
about equal as graphics, I'd say. And then the sound can be about there. Yeah, that looks good. All right. There we go. Almost done. Super alien bros. Get the bugs out of here. Oh, boss, I've discovered that some really dedicated fans of Darwinism, the game. Oh, I forgot about that. I've created a fan game using a lot of material from our game. They don't make any money with it, and it just seems to be do it for our fellow fans. Our legal, legal advisors strongly suggest that we shouldn't allow this. Um, I, I think I'll let them be, because usually when you stop them, you lose fans. And, like, they're not getting any, getting any money from it. Like, if they're making money from it, I'd stop them. But, you know, they're just trying to have some fun. So, I'll let them be. I'll let them just have some fun times and stuff. Right, so this guy's technology, I, don't, I think it was 35, so now it's, like, 39. Eh, it's not that good, but... Um, actually, maybe it was lower. I don't know. Um, the Vena Oasis comes with 8... Or 16-bit graphics with sound, which promises a new kind of gaming experience. Wow. Vina said at the announcement, the Oasis is a new start and it'll be a, the genesis of a new generation of gaming consoles and we believe it'll do very well in the market. Some of the games already announced for the console suggest that it will appeal to more mature audiences. Hmm. I don't know if that's entirely true, but okay. Alright, as we know, Vina in real life, I think it's... I don't know, what is Vina in real life? Sega? Yeah. They don't do too good. Alright, we gotta level up on dialogue. Here, we can speed this up. Sweet, and then Wyatt is got five XP. Nice. All right, we got better Deligas. Deli I almost said Deligas. Okay, so oh, we can actually fill another position. I don't think we want to do that. Um, hi, I'm Denise Reed, and the main developer of Darwinism, the game fan game. I've recently been informed that your legal department has advised you to stop us, and I just wanted to say that I'm very grateful that you didn't. All right. Pac-Man Inc. is the best company in the world, and I'm glad to be a part of the fan community. Dang, man. Yay, we got 302 fans. See? Um, oh, yeah. The reviews. I forgot about... <laughs> I keep forgetting about these things. Ooh, the number looks high. Eight. Yes, that's good. DC's good. Ten? Nine? Ooh, another eight. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Nine? Ooh, oh, oh. Almost perfect. Eight. Dang, that's really good. Okay, I'll get some good money from that. So while we wait for the uh, money to come in. I think we'll find some contract work. Um, we should, we could do this like pretty easily because he has good design, like my new Wyatt guy, Wyatt O'Brien. He has good design, so he'll get lots of stuff done. Or he'll just scratch his head and not do anything. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay, we got 20K. Okay, look at the, how much money we're getting from this. How much are we getting? I didn't really see. I guess we got like two million it looked like okay so i want to research some stuff or we'll get him to generate a game report just because he's kind of useless at the moment until i train him a bit more uh and then we'll research marketing hmm maybe we should research marketing or level editor hmm not sure medium games better dialogues open world hmm i feel like open world could open up a lot of stuff stuff because it's like more stuff um I think we'll do open world. Yeah, we'll do that. And we're, we still have a lot of money. I think we started with 2.6 at the, like, the beginning of this episode, so <laughs> we kind of went back to the beginning, so that's good. Alright, this Wyatt guy's slow. We need to get him faster. Okay, level design seems quite important for this type of game. Topic, audience, match, alien, slash, everyone is great. Okay, that's good. Because I wasn't really sure. You think aliens and mature would be a bit better? But I wasn't sure about that. Okay, we got eight, or we got... Half a million dollars in sales, that's not too bad. I think I want it to be a little bit more, though. Um, we'll get him to research a new topic. Uh, uh, these are all really bad options. Um, government? Can we make, like, a mature government game or a young government game? Or We'll make a mature, mature romance game. That sounds good. I'm sure that'll do pretty good, actually. Um, and we'll get him to research, um, what should we get him to research? Marketing really quick, because I think that's actually pretty good, because we can, like, market our games to get, like, advertisements and stuff, and get more fans and more people to buy it. So I think that would be good. Look how fast he does it. He just got marketing, like, boom, done. And he's, like, hasn't even finished the topic yet. He's so slow. We really need to work on him. Um, okay, there we go. So now we can... Uh, make a new game. Or let's see if there's any, like, good... Okay, there's not really any good contract work. 
We'll make a new game. It will be Romance Mature, and it will be called Saucy... Saucy... Um... Saucy... I don't know. Saucy... I was gonna say, uh... What, what starts with an S? Like, what's... Uh... Saucy... Romance? No. Yeah, fine. Saucy Romance. Saucy Romance. The game. The game. The game. Because it's based off of a movie. Yeah, there we go. Um, and it'll be like a... Saucy Romance? What would that be? Like an RPG or like a simulation? It could be like a strategy. It could be like one of those ones where you like talk to them and like... It'll be on PC. You, like, talk to them and kind of, like, they, like, say something and then you have to, like, match, like, so you, like, fall in love with them. I don't know. It could be, like, something like that. That's what I have in mind. Alrighty. Uh, story and quest could be really high. Gameplay could be a little bit lower. And engine could be about a little bit lower as well. Because we want the stories and quests to be really high. Because um, you want the story to be, like, really good, right? Um, and the gameplay can be, like about there that looks about good all right so now this guy can actually like do stuff for us even though he's not doing anything is he doing anything he's just oh he got one technology in or no one research in okay so we want dialogues high as it can go ai really high and level design can be like kind of like that there we go all right i feel like i really need to train this wide guy like a lot because he's kind of garbage at the moment like he just gave a, he just gave me a bug and a research like he didn't even do anything um, okay, so graphics, low question mark? I think we want the graphics pretty good. Because it has to be, like, realistic, right? Um, and the sound can be, like, about there. I think that would be about good. Yeah, maybe the world design can be a little bit lower than graphics. There we go. Okay, that looks good. Don't really have very much, like, points. I don't know. Um, hi, I'm Steve O'Connell, re a reporter for Planet GG. I don't know what that means. Okay. Uh, we've heard a rumor that your company is developing a game for mature audiences. Will you be willing to give an interview? Sure, let's give an interview. Great, thank you for your time. We will publish the interview next week. Alright, that sounds good to me. Okay, uh, Planet GG has recently published an interview with Pac-Man Inc. According to the interview, the company is working on the first game, tar its first game targeted at mature players. Luke, the owner of C and CEO of Pac-Man Inc., said, We think that players are looking for more mature content in games, and we are willing to take a risk to give it to them. Alright, apparently I said that. Uh, many industry experts say the sooner or later games with mature themes will become more common. We are curious to see how the market will react to these games. Alright, so that's good. Alright, and we got some hype as well because we did that interview. Oh, he's still gaming points. Alright. Yeah, so we got some hype. You can get like really high hype. We got 14 hype, so it's a, l a little bit, a little bit good, a little bit good. All right, we got some level up. We got level up on sound, and one other thing I didn't see. Okay, simple cutscenes for new research. I think we will get him to. Re Actually, we'll train him because he's kind of garbage. Um, so like once you research something, it tells you like a bunch of technology for this, like coding complete. A bunch of technology, one design, one research. So I think we want to give him, like, make him think. Because he's, like, kind of slow. <laughs> so make him think. Okay, the first reviews for Saucy Romance. The game came in. Alright. Oh, no. It's really low. <laughs> okay. Dang, this is really bad. Oh, I see ones and twos. Oh, no. Why is this so bad? Oh, no. I messed up, man. Waste of time. Disappointing. Oh, Romance's strategy is terrible. Dang it. I thought it was good, man. Okay, let's get, our, let's get a game report. It's a three overall. Dang it, man. I'm going to lose so many fans. Oh, I lost 108, 178 fans. Oh. Oh. So, oh. That was such a waste of time. I don't even think I'll make my money back. Um, romance and strategy is terrible combination. And dialogue seem to be not important. What? Platform genre match is great. Okay, so that's good. Platform audience match, PC and mature is great. Okay, so that's good. Because usually older people have computers. You know, kids don't usually have their own computer. I guess they would have a computer, but not their own, right? Um, okay, this did horrible. This was a horrible game. Oh, was he done that already? Oh, wow, that was fast. He got lots of research. Okay. Um, let's see if we can do a contract work. Just because we have, like, no money. <laughs> because of this horrible game that we made. 
Um, we'll do logo animation. Hopefully we can finish it. Please? Wyatt, please, like, contribute to our company or else I'll have to fire you. Can I fire him? Oh, I can too. <laughs> Maybe we should get someone new. I kind of want to... I kind of don't like Wyatt. He's kind of garbage. Okay, we finished it. Did we finish it? Okay, we got it. And there's a popular genre, adventure. Okay, I kind of feel like I want to fire... I kind of want to fire him. Because he's really garbage. What happens if I click on that? Do I want to fire him? I just got him. I could probably make him a bit better. I'll make him a bit better, I think. And we can, we can work on him. You know, he's new. We just hired him a few, like, a few months ago. Okay, we only got 88 in sales. Dang. I think we spent, like, 50k in the game. Dang, man. We kind of messed up on that. Anyway. Well, we kind of lost $3 million, but we got more fans, and we hired hired Wyatt. So I think it's been a good day. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. We also, actually, we also, we, I can't talk. We researched, like, a bunch of stuff. Like, we kind of spent all of our resource points, too. So that cost some money. Anyway, it kind of, it kind of worked out. All right. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. Oh, what's he say? Uh, copyright. Warn them. We'll warn them. Okay. Right away. Um, okay. So, hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe if you have not already. And follow me on all the good stuffs. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.